Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Los, and this is Four Quarters. Today, I'm gonna be playing some Golden Axe. This is one of my favorite arcade games out there, guys. So we'll see how far I get on Four Quarters. Also, gonna be talking a little bit about something I heard on the news this morning. Uh, something that is of particular interest to everyone who plays video games. Let's see how good we do here. Oh, oh. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. It's been an extremely stressful and emotional time for everyone in the United States. I'm sure you guys have heard that there were two shootings over the weekend. One in El Paso, Texas and another in Dayton, Ohio. And these, are, these come at the heels of the shooting that took place over at the uh, Gilroy Garlic Festival right here in my own backyard really. Um, back towards, uh, the three people there. But uh, it's been just crazy. It's just crazy out here with this gun violence. And you know, people are wondering how, how to stop it, you know? Is there a way to stop it? I don't know. I have no idea how, how anyone would begin to tackle that problem. But, you know, they're trying. And uh, this morning, on the news, uh, the president said that we're going to take um, some action. One of those, actually the very first one that he mentioned was they were going to um, stop glorifying violence. Violence is glorified in violent video games. And of course, me as a gamer, I heard that and I was just like... Here we go again. You know, another politician who's wanting to blame video games on gun violence in the United States. But that's not all he said, though. He was also talking about mental health. And he was also talking about background checks. But the very first one that he mentioned, obviously, was video games. And to me, I think that it's a misguided effort to try and censor video games in some way, shape, or form. I mean, they've tried before. It just doesn't make any sense to me as a gamer. I've, you know, I've been in this game a long time, you guys. And I've been playing video games since I was a, since I was a little boy. And never, not once, have I ever wanted to kill someone, to shoot someone, um, to do harm to anyone after playing one of these video games that I played. And I played everything, guys. Everything from the from the Grand Theft Autos to the Dr. Mario's to the most cutest games you'll ever see. And um, the, the most violent I've ever gotten on one of these games after playing it was throwing my controller and rage quitting after trying to trying to beat a, a level for the 50th time of the night. And I'm sure that most of you guys can relate to that because a lot of you guys are gamers out there and and if you're not and for, for some reason you found this video uh, through other means other than uh, you you know subscribing to the channel then welcome. I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that you're listening to me and my opinions regarding video games and, and violence and gun violence. I think it's an important topic and I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I would love to hear what you think about this, this um, conundrum that the United States is, is, is facing. And the reason I'm saying that the United States is facing it is because I, I just recently saw a story that IGN printed, and it was a story, let's see if I can use some magic. It was a story that said that, okay, video games are all over the world. Everywhere has video games, you name it. Um, but the only country that has issues with these mass shootings that are taking place is the United States. Okay, so what's different about the United States? 
Why do we have all of the shootings? You know, some people say it's it's the availability of guns and the way that we give guns to people. You know, does that have something to do with it? Oh, I think so. I think so. And don't get me wrong, I am not against um, guns rights. I think that they have a very important function in society, but at the same time, I don't think that you need a gun that the, the United States Army uses to invade Iraq here in the United States, here in the, in the burbs. You, know? you don't need a powerful gun like that unless you're going there, there and killing some Al Qaeda. At any rate, I just thought it was, it was, you know, I actually have expected them to say something about video games because it seems like anytime there's a tragedy of this magnitude, a shooting uh, that takes place in the U.S., they're always, 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 always talking about how video games contributed to the shooting. You know, the killer played a video game at, at one time and that caused them to go out and harm people. And I just think it's BS. I really do. The same thing with movies and and uh, music. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not totally blind to the effects of these games and these violent movies and stuff. There's something called the rating system, you know, that I use, and that I'm sure that you guys use. And you know, I use that whenever I want to buy my kids a game. You know, I'm not out there buying them all these adult only or even T for teen games because I know that their brains can't handle it. You know, those ratings are, are there for a reason. And I don't want the government telling me what my kids can and can't watch. I don't want them telling me what I can and can't watch. I'm sure that you guys feel the same way. There's a very important part of the U.S. Constitution. And that is the First Amendment. But in fact, it was so important to our founding fathers that they made it the very first one. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. So I don't know. I don't know what's gonna I don't know what he meant by you know directing the feds to crack down on violent video games and violent media. I don't know what kind of fuckery we're in for in the next few months. And yes, excuse me for uh using bad language, but that's that's all it is. It's fuckery. It's it's, it's not gonna be good for anyone. And I'm not just talking about video gamers like myself. I'm talking about people who like movies, people who like uh, music. So yeah, I mean, I'm interested to find out what you guys think about this. And if, if, if you guys think that video games cause mass shootings and violent behavior, I would like to know what your opinions are. If you guys know of a good article, um, or a good study that someone has done that links video game violence to these mass shootings and then let me know in the comments you know I'd like to see that anyhow I've just been thinking about it all day and I'm, I'm glad to get it off my chest let's see if, how far I can get on this fourth quarter The name of this feature is Four Quarters, and that's because, guys, that is because that's my first quarter. So we're good. Quarter two. And that's because um, when I used to help my mom in the laundromat, and I know anyone who's, who's watched this before knows this story, she used to pay me a quarter to go and help her fold laundry and do the laundry. And so 
There was a Shakey's Pizza right next door to the arcade, excuse me, to the laundromat. And uh, I would go in there while the clothes was drying and spend my, my dollar. And depending on how far I would get, I mean, how good I was at the game is how far I would get. Sometimes that would last, you know, five minutes. Sometimes if I was good at the game, I would last longer. And, but the main thing was that my growing up not without a lot of money, I mean, we weren't poor, but we didn't have everything. I lost my train of thought. I'm getting my butt kicked over here. But um, we didn't have everything, and we grew up with not not with a lot of money. And so I only had a dollar really to to spend on the arcades. And any kid knows that the arcades are quarter munchers. And uh, let's get some magic. <laughs> The arcades are quarter munchers, and you're not going to last long on any given arcade it's because they're designed to take your money, right? I mean, that's that's why there's a rise of uh, the home arcade consoles because nobody wanted to spend money on the arcades anymore. Why, why spend money on them if you can just play them at home and save all of your quarters? Anyways, have you guys played this game? I'm sure you have. All the owners of the Sega Genesis out there. This guy's my favorite to use. It's all about the axe. These skeletons, man, they... Kind of remind me of Jason and the Argonauts. You guys have seen that one, I'm sure. They're brutal. Give me that dragon. that before starting the YouTube channel I could just pick up a game and whatever game it was and play it and not have to worry about capturing footage or anything for it and now it's all about the footage right everyone wants to see what everyone's playing but um I kind of use uh I use the the videos as an incentive if I am particularly productive and get a lot of work done, then I reward myself with some game time. But if you know, I'm not productive or whatever, no video games until I finish uh, editing or whatever. That guy was gonna get me. Oh, of course the dragon runs away. The first sign of trouble. Oh, it was. What games are you guys playing right now? I'm interested to know. That was quarter two. This is quarter three. Do you guys play arcade games or do you guys like more of the. Switch or PS4 or Xbox One. It's about the only system that I don't have and I've been wanting to get one, but I just haven't yet. Is a Switch. I mean, I bought one for my daughters, my girls, and I'll steal it every once in a while when I want to play some Breath of the Wild, but I don't have one of my own. And that needs to change. I thought I was going to buy one 
the um, switch light. Jeez, that was hard. Oh, somehow I pushed the wrong button. Anyhow, I, I got to the end. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you click on the uh, notification bell so that you are aware of when I upload my next video. Uh, thank you very much for your support. Let me know in your comments what you think about uh, video games and video and uh, uh, gun violence. Do you do you think that video games, that violent video games, violent movies, uh, inappropriate songs, inappropriate music cause people to do gun violence? If so, let me know. And if you don't, let me know also in the comments. As always, I will see you on the next Big Retro Show.